Okay. So, uh, I'm going to talk about a strict toes to bar today. Now, just two things to note here. One, what I want everybody to note is the toes to bar is not the end all be all to core, midline, ab, whatever you want to call it, exercises. It's one of these things I think there's a lot of um, illusion about its sexiness because it's jump up, you cool, it's like this thing. But there's a lot of things that are more useful. So what I want you to take away from that is if we're programming a toes to bar, it's not that it's not useful, but it's definitely not necessarily the most extreme midline ab core exercise ever done in the history of the world. So keep that in mind. Number two, the reason that we don't necessarily do or encourage or program any kipping on a toes to bar is because of the extension and flexion that happens over and over at the spine. So if you think about it, the analogy I always use, always use is, okay, you've gone camping, you're gonna make a fire, you take a twig, you break it over your leg, but it doesn't quite break all the way through. So you go like this over and over and over and over, and then the twig breaks. It's kind of the same thing that happens with your spine if you're doing a kipping toes to bar, you have your spine and it's going like this over and over and over and over and over and over and over. So generally speaking, not a great movement for the spine to violently extend and flex over and over and over. Hence why I always do strict toes to bar. Now that being said, I think a strict toes to bar is obviously a lot harder than trying to flail your way up there. And what I want to make note of is what a strict toes to bar is actually supposed to look like. So let's talk about that. So number one, your thumb should be wrapped around the bar because you got to be able to hang from the bar to do a toes to bar without any flailing or anything like that. So the thumb always goes around the bar to start and when I'm hanging, I'm nice and active, my feet are together and I'm just hanging in a nice straight line. And then from here, this has to be the start and the finish position. So from here, what I might do is lift my eyes just subtly, but all I'm going to think about doing is keeping my legs straight bringing my toes up to the bar, and then bringing myself back down to that straight line position again. From there, I can curl, touch, back down to the bottom. So that's what we wanna see when we're doing a strict toes to bar. Now, asterisk, what I'm about to do is not okay. So I don't wanna see this. This is not a strict toes to bar. This is just you finding a way to bring your toes up to the bar without making it obvious that you're trying to kip toes to bar. So A, that just hurts my body. Two, it's clear that I'm not in control of what's going on. At the bottom of that toes to bar, I have to be able to stop straight. I have to be able to control the descent. I have to be able to stop myself from moving at all times. If it's not, it's not strict anymore, okay? So I'll give you three more good ones here. And then just keep in mind, my feet are always together. I'm gripping the bar tight. I'm pulling my shoulder blades back and together. I'm always starting from a dead stop. I get organized, toes to bar. Pause, toes to bar, pause. Strict toes to bar, make them sexy.